These are like snack size for your purse. Okay. Just letting you know I'm super itchy, I need to go to the sun. The guy was like with an ego, how many Instagram followers do you have? I was like, oh, just two and a half thousand. He goes, my friend has 20,000. And I'm like, yeah, because fasting doesn't have a big market, my friend. If I wanted to put, if I wanted a big audience, I'd, I don't think this happened, that's it, I? If I wanted a big audience, I'd be promoting vegan brownies. Telling you it's healthy to eat. Wow, they got price. You have a coconut tree. Yeah. I was going to ask. It's it's at next to the road. Can I take a few? Next to the road. You know, on the on the road. On the road. There's a there coconut is tree. Ours. It's yeah. Is it at other neighbors? Yeah. Oh, you okay. can take this one. Which one? This is ours. I have to climb. You have to climb down. Ah, okay. But it's not that. Do, do I need a ladder? Is it, do I need a ladder or is it short tree? I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. I can. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, from England. Oh, yeah. England. Which one? Which tree? This one. The one you like. Which I one? They're a bit tall. <laughs> this one, I think we're gonna need a ladder to get into. It's not an easy one. Maybe, maybe next time we come, yeah, yeah. we go ladder because we need to climb up. It's a bit challenging. We're gonna go ask your neighbors. Okay. But if we need, we'll come back to ask you. Okay, okay, Thank sure. you very much. Okay, Have welcome. a lovely day. Bye. We ask for just take them. Just wait, she's gone. Wait for her to go. I was reaffirmed. I didn't need to read someone's research and say, yes, dragon fruit has all the vitamins you need and the soil has all of this. I don't need none of that. It's universe tells me, like I look at the soil, universe is like, this is rich soil. And I'm like, wow, okay. That's all I need to know. Or well, universe tells me um, fruit is the way, fasting is the way. Don't get distracted by broccoli and carrots and peas and leaves and stuff. And universe will also tell me I've given you everything you need in your body to heal yourself. 
and I can spot these things out so that my path can go around the holes and ditches. I don't drop into them. I can carefully tread around them. Why? I'm not trying to live a perfect life, but why make, mis like, why make mistakes that other people make? I like to learn from other people. first thing on your protocols is your diet. You must move from a cooked food, high protein type of diet to no protein and living vibrant foods that most of the other animals on this planet eat. You've got to lose this idea of proteins because it is a negative force idea that's locking you guys into hellville. And that's because most people don't understand the ramifications from the very first mistake we made. You've never tried to go back and say, well, if we didn't make that mistake, we wouldn't make that mistake, etc., etc." You have to do that. And when you do, you find out it does go back to one thing. We altered our food. I've been 45 years here as a raw foodist, a fruititarian, kind of back and forth. And uh, I thought it was bad then. It's so much better, no question. But there are still a lot of humans that have no idea even how to eat. They don't have any idea how to even eat. Food is the most powerful drug on the planet. And until you can withdraw, if you can get yourself away from that, you've done something immense in your life. I'm a tropical monkey in a flat gray cold city who is exposed to schooling for education and I was just subject to this. What do I do in my spare time? It's just like, you don't know who you are. So I, was, I, I grew up lost. I spent most of my life unconscious. When I was 14 years old, so that's 2005, I started fit working out because if you don't want to be at home and you don't want to be on the cold streets, well, where are you going to hang out? I'm not a drug dealer or anything, so I like, I'm not interested in like clubbing or smoking or drinking or being in coffee shops. The only exit strategy for me was working out. It's all about trying, man. You ready, yeah? Okay, let's try to get 15 done. Right, go. So I developed a relationship with the gym and um, what happened there was is that I unconsciously became locked into the whole mentality of bodybuilding, which is false, false programming. I'm sorry, I'm gonna lay it down. I developed bigorexia. So that was me finding happiness in obsessively building my body.
what I didn't realize was is that at the same time, I was polluting my body's sewer system. It's bodybuilding bullshit, that's what it is. Is men going around, throwing around weights, acting acidic, wasting their life and time because no bodybuilder out there is doing any good to their body. We're supposed to be lean climbers. Not one bodybuilder out there can climb a coconut tree and put a million pounds on it. It inspires me. Uh, I love climbing trees in general, but this tree I love the most because I climb up high and I look down on its branches and it gives me, I just love it, so many ideas. I've written so many of my songs in this tree. I wrote um, Heal the World in this tree, Will You Be There, Black or White, um, Childhood. You're actually saying that you climb that tree. Yeah. How far do you climb up it? All the way to that seat, all the way to that kind of spot up there, kind of like a deck where it's like a bed. Do you want to climb it now? Yeah. Give me hold the umbrella. Yeah. You go and climb it, and let me. And when you've climbed it, let's see how inspiring it is. What are you typing in? Michael Jackson, uh, Grammy, um, eating. Because I, I saw a picture of him in the Grammys eating. I just sat here, I just kept studying Michael Jackson. Um, and here you go. Boom. What's on the plate of Michael Jackson? I see blueberries and raspberries. I see a man with a plate of blueberries and ra I'm sure they're organic. Organic blueberries and raspberries. As, as, as a snack, maybe as a glass of juice after, but. Right there. Um, we want that attached, it's okay. Here we go. You don't see this man eating. You don't. You just don't see him eating, right? And I was like, come on, he's got to eat. It's not a breatharian. This guy, you need to eat. Everyone needs to eat. Mom, just one second, one second. He needs to eat. I'm just going to wrap this up. He needs to eat. Tara. What did you type in? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I typed in Mike Jackson orange juice. Why would you lie? I mean, like, I didn't just type him eating. I typed oh. in orange juice. So I'm a bit like, it's a bit biased to just do that. But when I've ever searched him eating, I don't get any pictures. Do you get what I'm saying? So I just know he's. I've always on two concerts I saw him drink orange juice, and I was like, hey, this guy drinks orange juice. And then I was like, I was like, his colon's empty. Maybe he doesn't eat much. I was like, let me see, let me see. And then look at this. I know he's a celebrity and he's got money, but he's got nice teeth, he's got low body fat, he seems to have clarity, he's got no physical problems, his skin looks good to me, he looks like he's well groomed, he's got a nice vocal cords, he has energy, he's awake, he's on fire and he's giving out a conscious message to the world and he can keep on doing it for about, I don't know how many millions of fans he performed to in how many countries, but this guy clearly has stamina, speed, energy, power, confidence. Like, you can't get your neighbor just to get up and stand in front of Wembley Stadium and give him a mic. What is he gonna say? You know? Like, there is there's something driving this. And yes, he's gifted, but if you follow my message for a month or two, you'll kind of see that we all have the same, we can tap into a similar energy source as well. So let's go back into the Michael Jackson vortex. <laughs> In the street, we're not enough to read. Who am I to be blind, pretending not to see? How can a bunch of bones, skin, blood, and a couple of organs attract so many people? Look at all these people.
He didn't tell us how though. That's the bit, that's the bit that gets me. It's like, he didn't tell us how, but it's not his job to. He, he did enough to instigate the fall. Easy digesting, fresh, clean, nutrient rich, with fiber that our colon can tolerate. Fruits, fruits, dancers, fruits. There's nothing else. There's nothing else out there that's gonna work for us. It's the laws of nature, nothing else will work. We can label it vegan, gluten-free. We can attach whatever words we want. The body doesn't care. And Dr. Graham called this the Winfinity effect. Winfinity means there is nothing that's wrong with this. There's infinite positives about it. I mean, you look at a fruit-based diet, there's infinite positive things about it. There's nothing you can point out that's bad. Is that 40 coconuts? Yeah, are you cool. filming now? Yes. Room tour! But, alley stuff, my stuff, toilet, and fraternity. Kitchen. Kitchen. <laughs> Kitchen, cabinet, everything. Fridge free. And it's three euro, three pounds per person? Yes, per night. Per night, yeah. And those coconuts just cost about 11 pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 40 coconuts for about 15 US dollars. How does it smell? To find someone who's actually <laughs> in tandem with you is very difficult, especially when you're like called a, when you're so called a social dropout. <laughs> How does it smell, Daniel? So sweet. Well, I can smell it from here. Let's just stop now. <laughs> <laughs> She likes to sleep on the floor, so do I. She likes to live minimal, so, I, so do I. She wants to be in the sun, so do I. She wants to detoxify, so do I. Coming to Sarawak and being the only two Europeans going around says it all, you know? Not many people you're gonna find on this path. And I think she's extremely beautiful. Here we have the Homo sapien. Doing whatever it takes to get to the durian fruit. The Daniela species, raw and wild.
Danny wants to make an important point for people in the world who love bread and butter. Yeah. It's not, it's not bread and butter, it's butter and bread. It's like this much bread, this much butter. Show us what you're talking about. Because this montong, because it's unfortunately not tree fallen, it's been left to ripe, but it's very good left to ripe. So it's this, it's this. There's a little chew, but then it's just like butter. I don't know if I can show it. Sometimes you feel like a freak. You feel so alone. What we basically are, we're mirrors to each other. So when I speak with Ali or speak with my mom or speak with anyone, sometimes you want to get a mirror reflecting back at you, telling you who you are and what you're doing. If I'm saying like, oh man, I had a few boiled potatoes like shit. And my mom's like, but that's really good. Like, what are you talking about? You know, it's the wrong mirroring. And I'm like, what? Dedicated to all the girls and boys out there messaging me about bloating and not wanting to eat and always be emptied out. I feel you, but it's inevitable on a fruit diet you're gonna get this sometime. It's not really a food baby, it's more of a water baby. Three co water from three coconuts, half a watermelon, and we shared four or five pineapples. And it goes away overnight. And it goes away overnight, and tomorrow I'll look. Super thin again. It's 6.50 a.m. and Danny just left and came back 15 minutes later. With her Easter egg hunt. This girl is the true child of Gaia. Think of this. Good morning. Good morning. And look at this. This is her bonobo fruit pile that she's hiding from everyone. <laughs> I love you so much, then. Look at this. It's like a dinosaur hatching out an egg. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the sound effect. Look at that. This is Daniela's prized possession. Natural coconut oil. Great for the skin. <laughs> Always drinking juice. Drinking. Always drinking juice. Listen. Thinking about juice, making juice, I'm manifesting, getting free stuff. His favorite. This is Ali's favorite fruit. Banana. <laughs> Easy to digest, highly astringent, and leave your lips tasting the flower. Mmm. Got this for free. Just been given all that for free. I paid 25p for this. The mat was for free. I found these flippers. I ain't found the glasses. That's a, that's a 21 year old t shirt. <laughs> that coconut was free. Danny's slippers are for free. She found that so wrong. She found that shirt. And she found the pants. <laughs> she... <laughs> you don't even need to make money to live. <laughs> Honestly, it's ridiculous. And the sea is for free. You can go through for a run for free. You have to play smart in life. <laughs> don't really need to pay for anything. Look at all these coconut trees. Live simple, man. Go raw. It was a long process of me being in my room for at least 8 to 12 months contemplating who am I, where am I, 
What am I doing in my life? What are the results people are getting in their life? Looking in the mirror, being dissatisfied with who I am. I didn't like how we're gonna get locked into a mortgage that was like 10 times the salary and then that meant you had to work until you're 50. And I just decided that I don't wanna be pasty and pale and just be stuck here and rot like this. I sold my whole Michael Jackson collection to a millionaire. I'm back. I'm back. I'm not happy with the way this trajectory of living is going to go, so I need to change things up. I feel so detoxified. Mm. Ali blacked out on a roller coaster. I passed out on a roller coaster. <laughs> I don't know, it's too that... intense for you, little no, baby. No, no, you can't no, no, handle it. It was too much. You know when you first time you go on a roller coaster, it's like super sensitive. Because you're just like, I don't know, you're just not used to the adrenaline rush. This is the fun thing. Okay, we had the juice. We've been sitting here, so when we're sitting relaxing, the body's digesting. And since it's only, it's only liquid and we had quite a lot, it's flushing. And now I feel pain. Okay, I can feel, I'm feeling like pain, just like behind going here. So basically this, the food that is, that didn't come out like this morning, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna get pushed out now by the, and probably some mucus too, because I always get mucus in my, in my, in my soul. That's the thing with fruitarians, we're gonna talk about poop. Poop, <laughs> poop, pee and sweat. Mucus is the vehicle for toxins. So when we sneeze, I sneezed the other day and I was like, there's phlegm. I was like, oh, I'm detoxing. Sneezing's detoxing, coughing, sweating. Yeah, crying. Crying. Yeah. Yeah. What? Crying's uh, a detox, yeah. like the water coming out. Look at this. My mom spends every day just doing this stuff. Rice. Pots clean, rice pots clean, rice pots clean. Look at this. This is the cooked food life. This is this is Plato's cave. You know, cooking clean. Look at my life. Simple minimal. Who's hey, nuts are these? Oh, no. What do you think of these? No. If you're gonna ever eat a nut, it should be naturally soaked on the tree and in season. Just like fruit. Why would you eat fruit out of season? Nuts fall in autumn and they naturally be soaked, so it's like if you want essential fatty acids, it's like, you don't need that. Right now, everyone's so toxic, we can't be messing around with nuts. Our foods must be electrical. When you're eating cooked dead foods, and your adrenals and thyroids and everything is down, how do you get to feel better? What, what, what are you doing to make yourself feel better? Nothing. Because you remember the law of homeostasis. So you're eating foods that are magnetically much lower than you are. Fruit is our electricity. Fruits, berries, and melons. Melons, 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 melons,
Where there's love, <laughs> I'll be there. I reach out my hand to you. I have faith. She's so cute. I'm shining the spotlight, but I'm always on the spotlight. Yeah. I'm always at the spotlight, <laughs> like but I'm shy at the spotlight. I just had pitaya today, coconut and a few limes. I just went to take a shit. I stood up, got clean, and went out. And then 30 seconds later, I had to shit again. I shit, I cleaned, I went out, I needed to shit again. <laughs> And then I shit, and then I stood up in there because I thought maybe I should again. <laughs> maybe I need to take a shit again, and yeah, I did. Now I'm cool. Get this video X rated. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you just want to bite her? Ow. Ow. So. And what I realized, the realization I got is, you know, chia seeds. Yes. If you soak it in water, it basically becomes this gooey, mm -hmm. gooey kind of gel, and it's really good for... Chia seeds, okay. Huh? Chia, chia seeds. seeds yeah, yeah. yeah, if you put them in water or, li or liquid. What the pitaya seeds does is that they basically work like a chia seed. So when you eat it and like ingest it, it becomes like this goo, and I think it's really like... Is it laxative? Yeah, it's really laxative and it Oh, so you really think it's the like, seeds that make you poop? Yeah, it must be, right? Yeah, because it's like the seeds and it, around the seed, it's like this gel. Yes. And this gel is really like just sliding. Wow. It is a very, very sexual thing when you crack open a durian, you suck the seeds. That's what Tony Wright says. Really? Eating fruit is oral sex. Wait. <laughs> a completely different kingdom. Yes. So when we incorporate these hormones and these chemicals into us, it changes the way our DNA is read. It changes the way our brain works. It, yeah. it expands our consciousness in, in ways that it's like... If this was church, I'd shout hallelujah! You know, like... <laughs> when you go on a fruit diet, you kind of question everything you do, and you kind of start thinking about it in a different way, and then it tends to... You, so you tend to kind of... Let's say I'll I'll go online and take off my clothes to for males on the internet. I don't really like to do it, but I would do that because they would tell me I'm pretty and that would make me feel good. Because then I would get like confirmation, let's say. And then, but when I go on a fruit diet, I will start questioning because I want the best for myself. I wanna tell you how beautiful you are, but you know where to be. I'm not so perfect. We formed this relationship with the forest, we formed this relationship with trees, primarily as fruit eaters. But I want you to forget fruit, it's not an appropriate word, it's really the swollen reproductive organ of the flowering plants. And it's to do with the embryonic form of plants. It's where the seeds develop, very early form of plants, and it's loaded with a very different hormone regime or hormonally active compounds in the rest of the tree. Very specialized area, a bit like the mammalian reproductive system. Is it difficult to have sex with a rash, Ali? Yes. Yes, it is. We've had sex with a rash, but not very rarely. It's not like it's contagious. No, no. no it's not about that. It's just difficult for me because it buzz. Yeah. Maybe there's a type of like, I don't know, something I, you could use? I think it, what, what we do, what the easiest if we want to be intimate sexually is to, for him to hit a sauna, hit the steam room, exfoliate the skin, yeah. like for two hours, well, then when up. he feels clean, as clean as he can do right now, the then he's like, Danielle, I feel like actually touching you right now because I don't feel disgusted my own skin. What the fuck is that? Sorry, that's another one like mine. Okay guys, this is my knee. The limb system. This is the limb stuck on it. So it's creating a bigger hole now. 
and we'll see what comes out next. This is how severe healing crisis can be. I'm busy. Right. I'm your own surgeon and your own doctor. Mm. Yeah. This is your medicine. And a, and a coconut. This is your medicine and this is your operation tool and this is the operation table and this is my clinic. Nature. Hashtag detoxification. Hurts you more like it heals you. Stay on the limes and lemons if you want to pull this. Pull the limb system. We want sweet, sweet, ma. Sweet, sweet, ma. Everyone's looking for the candy. That's the interesting thing. People who cook food have to have dessert because their body was looking for fruit, they didn't give it fruit, and they had to end their meal with sweets. When I finished leaving Goldman, that's when I realized, oh, I see what they mean about selling your soul to the devil. They're basically saying that you sell your life away because you can't like just sit back and become the slave to whatever they want you to do, which is to set up a screen and make the dollars come in. <laughs> you don't want these? They look nice. Yeah, they're fabric. I'll make those look good when I, when I finish my detox. Oh, look, I'll make those look hot. What? Uh, you'll be 
You'll be able to work I'll do my, I'll do my juicing videos in the flurry shorts. <laughs> hey. Hey. This is not Dior. This is not... This is not Balmain. I like those kind of panties. <laughs> Don't make fun of them. They You're like, Ali, so I have a thing. I like to wear granny pants. I'm like, okay. With strawberries. Oh, wow. Explain a day. A day in I the life of that... Of Ali back then. Um, wake up at 6 a.m. Uh, you have a phone with you that's got messages. Overnight, I could get 100 emails. So already the stress starts. Get grey clouds, put an umbrella up, get to the train station, stand squashed in the polluted and like congested environment. So many people, you're underslept, you already feel, you know, you feel dizzy from under, being underslept because you're forced to wake early. And then get to the job, wake up. The, the, the screen monitor hits you at that time in that sensation, so you're just like, you're just, you're just pulled down and down and lower and lower. And then um, breakfast, brainwashed, oats, eggs, anything that will constipate, dehydrate, and d just m form mucus in the body, slow down your brain performance. So there's so much congestion coming in from the brain and body, from the air, the pollution, the environment, everything. And then people's vibration comes to you because they're all in that, state and everyone's zombied out and it's like okay this is normal because everyone's like that and it would just be business meetings desk work business meetings lunch chicken fish just like meat and potatoes and fried food or like we're gonna go with the team go somewhere fancy again it's all the fancy food dressed up in a nice plate it's the same junk and a nice plate and then it would just drag on drag on sun would go down so the sun's gone goodbye maybe you get one out Lunchtime, it would only be like 30 minutes break. People usually eat at their desk. And then it would just drain on to eight o'clock. Your team leader would leave. You would have to stay because there's something called FaceTime where it means that because you're only a analyst and you're not like three, four, five years in and gaining higher ranks, you're expected to stay and you can't leave until somebody else leaves. So you're just, it's just you and the clock, you and the clock. Dinner comes, they pay for the dinner. You look at the menu, fried noodles, all that junk stuff again. And if you get an hour, run to the gym. What we discussed before, the whole brainwashing of running on a treadmill like a rat, um, doing things that your body doesn't want to do because it's already fatigued and just is out of balance. And then you put it on a treadmill, it's like, whoa, we are crashing, accelerated rate. And then go home in a taxi at 1 a.m. But because Ali was earning 50,000 pounds a year, we're proud of him. That's the way my family looked at it. They were like, we're proud of you. You've got the numbers, you know? Don't, it's not about, is my son healthy? Does he feel vital? Is the blood flowing through his veins? Forget all of that. Ali earns 50,000 pounds a year. And then that's why I had a lot of social pressure from my family and, and school because everyone's like, you've studied to get to this job. For them, it's just a little gold sign, shiny, but they didn't really care about me. I care about that me. And my soul told me to get up and go. I didn't know why or how, but I was the only one who gave in to the cash. It's taken me five years to do silence, inner work, manifestations, watching life, research books, to get into the, to get to where I am now, to really tap into my soul and listen to God and universe and look around the problems around the world and realize where I can stand in it. And I was like, wow, I can help people with iris analysis. I can be an inspirational figure. I can speak up, I can do juice recipes. Um, I've learned about the power of fasting. I learned all these things and I realized that if we, if, we, if we regain vitality, health, radiance, beauty and energy, nothing can stop you. But if they get you and you're dehydrated, you're undercarbed, you're underslept, you're stressed, you're overworked, you've been burnt out, they can hold you on a leash. But if you can wake up and you free yourself, you're unstoppable because God's on your side. You know, that's the thing. So, I, that's why I trust in God. I don't need, I don't need a salary from anyone. Money will just flow, and it does. So, money's not a problem.
it's like oh man wow oh my god Healthy. So good for you. It tastes fucking amazing. It's and a pleasure to eat a fruit-based diet. Yeah, it's a pleasure. This is not an apple. This is not the same pleasure as an apple. Consistency is like really, really, really like warm temperature. The one with the peanut, one. peanut butter. You know when peanut smooth peanut butter? When it gets really warm, it gets very smooth, so it's quite thick, but it's so good. We have a symbiotic, symbiotic relationship with nature. We break that relationship, we pay the price. You break the laws of nature, nature's gonna break you. Believe in yourself, study the greats and become greater. Yeah. And be a scientist, dissect, no matter what. I don't care if the whole world is, is against you or tease you or so you're not going to make it. Believe in yourself. No matter, what. no matter what. Some of the greatest men that have made a mark in this world are treated like that. You know, you know you're not going to do it. You're not going to get anywhere. They laughed at the Wright brothers. They laughed at Thomas Edison. They laughed at Walt Disney. They made jokes of Henry Ford. They said he was ignorant. He didn't have a college degree. He dropped out of school. Mm -hmm. Disney dropped out of school. They even took Ford to court prove his intelligence. That's how really? far they went, yeah. And uh, these are men that shaped and changed our culture, our customs, the way we live, the way we do things. Mm. And I think God plants those seeds through people on the earth. And uh, I think you're one, I'm one, um, to bring some bliss, some escapism, mm -hmm. some joy, some magic. very important part of the day for me. This is a ritual in which I make the most powerful drink I think exists to cleanse the human body. It is called cold pressed calamansi lime juice. Now what's special about calamansi lime? It is the most astringent which means pulling fruit I've ever come across. It tastes like a hybrid between a very sour orange and lemon and lime and I like to drink depending on my personal needs in the day, at least five cups of this, if I can. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh man. <laughs> it is so good. Um, if I was just living on bananas and papaya, I don't think I would have got the same results. And I always have this theory that if you can clean your kitchen and toilet with limes, what's it going to do to your kitchen and toilet, which is your colon and your, in your stomach? This is going to clean you out. And from my trial and experiments, this works. The last three years of my life, 24-7, I can't stop thinking about this. It's kind of like, it's like you're in a cave and you look into a light, but you can't look away from it anymore, you know? That's what this feels like. It's like, it's too strong. It's too powerful to turn away. I have to be alert. I have to be awake. I have to keep questioning, thinking, so I can keep channeling with universe what, what information is trying to come to me. Environments that are actually chemically very impoverished. There's no real complex chemistry there at all. And those environments never seem to produce large complex neural systems in any other Doesn't species. that make sense, Tara? Do you think you can build the same neural system from a durian tree than you would in the savanna of like beans? You're not going to build the same, you're not going to engineer the same human brain, are you? It's, it's common sense. Ah, sorry.
So really just saying simple connections here. And it's interesting, it's in some of these ancient traditions as well. Some of the ancient traditions talk about forest origins, even going as far as saying we were fruit eating, which yeah. modern science would agree with. Our distant ancestors lived in the forest and they ate fruit. Danny, I've missed you so much. Let me see. Which one? Ooh, okay. Where's the tool that we got now? In my fanny pack. Can you? In the car. Oh, it's in the car. We get liquids. It's, 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 it's you know, it's one of those that hurts. I wish we had but the I'll finger. just shut up. Yeah, but I think I wish we had the finger. Oh, you got a few. Yeah, I got you a few. Get, get I'm so sensitive to pain. You're not sensitive to pain, it's a sensitive area. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I had to yank out thick rubbery pus and I was wiggling it on the camera. Can someone please explain to me how my kidneys are going to get rid of that? So, what I'm saying is we're not aware of. <laughs> how severe the issue is and that's why when i saw that i said to myself wow my lymph system's really backed up my lymph system's really dehydrated oh my gosh everything is going to manifest through my skin that's why right now back to back day after day i get constant cyst so and because of my maturity and understanding of the process and the simplicity of it i don't panic about anything that happens i i, I have a governing view of what's going on on this game the detoxification pathway that i just I just sit back and become a witness of the process and stop. I don't want to be rude, but stop bitching about it. Right now, we're just awaiting to change our location and then we're going to go to see orangutans. Orangutans, Dad. Yeah. So we're just, we're just working together on the documentary and... I'm taking, I'm taking, I'm taking her to the fruit market so she can see the fruits. What do you want Noodles. Noodles, do you want My dad's like, are you eating potatoes and, listen to this. He's like, are you eating potatoes and beans? Because champadak, durian, pulosan, rambutan, papaya, pineapple, coconuts is not enough. You got to have some potatoes and beans in the diet because it's just not complete. It needs to square with what we eat. <laughs> oh, these guys are funny. Yes, Dad. No, thank you. No, I don't. No, oh my gosh, it stinks so bad. Huh? No, no, no. Tara, can I make you smile this for one second? Just so you can see. This is the lymph system. It smells like heavy metals. It smells tangy. Yeah. Yes, Dad. The most powerful thing in the world is the human mind. And prayer. And belief in yourself and confidence and perseverance. No matter how many times you do it, you do it again until it's right. And always believe in yourself. And no matter who's around you that's being negative or thrusting neg negative energy at you, totally block it off. Because whatever you believe, you become. The serpent is in man. It is the intestines. The belly is a heavy burden. It disturbs the equilibrium between the soul and the body. It fills history. It is responsible for all crimes. It is the mother of vices. The colon is king. I refer to the serpent all the time. It's Beelzebub, lord of the dunghill, a cesspool inside of our intestines. 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 Robson repeatedly praised Jackson 
as his idol after death, until he was rejected as the lead choreographer in a Jackson themed Las Vegas tribute show in 2011. With documented financial troubles, he claimed repressed memories led him to realizing the abuse. An initial book deal attempt was unsuc unsuccessful thereafter. In 2013-14, Robson and Safechuck hired the same lawyer and filed multi-million dollar civil lawsuits against the MJ state. These were thrown out of court in 2017 where a judge commenting, no rational fact-finding could be possibly believe Robson's sworn statement. Someone said something disgusting about what I said. I mean, it's disgusting and shit. Like, it's really, like, it's really graphic. What's it like being with someone who's going through a healing crisis? It hurts a lot, especially when it is someone you really love. He's not able to do the things he wants to do. Like when we were at the beach, like the most beautiful beaches in Thailand and Sri Lanka, he couldn't even go into the water. So it creates a lot of disconnection between us. We have never had the time fully to be with each other because the rash has always like been the baby in between <laughs> or how to call it. I feel sorry for him, and I feel sorry for me too. Because <laughs> we don't get to be with each other, and we don't get to do the things we want to do. And it's always the rush that's planning the way we travel, the way we are with people. And I have never, because I met Ali when he had the rush, basically. I have never been able to meet Ali. And, but I'm still in love with him, but it's uh, quite sad actually. Things that do not make the world a more beautiful place, I question their existence. Everyone's investing all their time in the day to turn all this meat and starch into food and then they have to clean it all up. And I was like, wow, what if all that human power went into like greenhouses? Minimize wastage, make better use of resources, do more things that help the planet. Get rid of things that are not helping anyone, don't make any sense. There's a lot of anger and frustration and try to forgive yourself for the things you've done towards yourself and the things you've done towards others and animals and the nature. So there are some deep moments where you're just like alone in the jungle or whatever. You're, you just realize all these things. Say to nature, like, oh, forgive me, please. It sounds a bit like super God and religiously, but it's just uh, I'm asking universe for forgiveness for what I did, and I hope to be cleansed and to not hurt with this or with armpit or stomach ache or acne, whatever it might be. I truly hope Ali will get well soon. And I will always be with by his side and whatever he needs to do, I'll make sure he gets that as to my best ability.
can't just trust myself because I'm just a human. I need a higher source to help me. And it, it's there, it's there. It helps you, it wants to guide you. And we're all at different places in this cave. We're all gonna go to this light. We're all gonna walk a different route maybe to get out. But the exit's ultimately gonna be that one door. Dance, music, hugs, kisses, becoming the highest version of yourself. Embracing nature, fresh air, sunshine, clean water, all these beautiful words encapsulate this source. That's what this source is telling me, that this is a paradise, that everyone can be happy, everyone can be sick free. You ask yourself, what can you do? And you realize you can't change anything. You have to change yourself. And if you change yourself, that can inspire change in others. That's the only way it works. That doesn't mean the richest most fastest, smartest person, the biggest, most muscular. For me, it means being the most clear, honest, loving version of yourself. The most, the most cleanest and, and beautiful version of yourself. The most simple, the most graceful, the, most, the one that has the most gratitude, the one that gives the most love, the one that shares the most, the one that like... It's just so sad that some people are so numb that they don't even feel connected in any way, shape or form in the day. And it's just like, you have to speak so much that you become drained in your own self. That you ask yourself, why is it so hard for people to take care of themselves and take care of each other? And it's just like, it's so confusing. Don't we want people to be happy? It's crazy, it's crazy. People just don't love themselves enough and they don't love their children enough to be like, hey man, like my kid's watching me. Like if I don't, if I don't, if I don't, like I need to teach them cleanliness. Like they're just gonna become a stagnant sewage like me. I can't just go up and say, yeah, I don't care what's going on. There's a bomb going off here. Someone stabbed each other in London. You know, uh, McDonald's has opened up 20 more branches in South Africa. I don't know what it is, but the internal force in me just keeps telling me to go. Because this isn't a path of I'm going to sit in my flat in the city and just go to work and I'm going to do a raw food diet and detox. It turns out to be an adventure, an amazing adventure. I think it's, I think it's worth it to, to leave this planet knowing I tried than just conforming and just, you know, it's easy just to follow the crowd. It's difficult to pave a new path. Keep on looking, you keep on searching, keep on moving, and you get a little further. Keep on trusting, you keep on hoping, keep on facing your fears, just to keep on going. Just try, try. Keep on longing, you keep on dreaming, 
Keep on doing what you do. Never give up believing. Just try, try. You just try. You just try, try. 